Good evening, and it's great to have you with us here on this Tuesday night. We do have a lot to get to, and we begin tonight with the coronavirus here in the U.S. And tonight, that new warning. The head of the CDC now saying that this coming fall and winter will likely be one of the most difficult times that we will experience in American public health. And the grim new number tonight, the U.S. has now surpassed 136,000 lives lost. In Florida tonight, the record number there, 133 deaths in the last 24 hours. More than 9,000 new cases there today. And after California ordered a statewide rollback of its reopening, tonight an acknowledgement that that might not be enough. The mayor of Los Angeles now saying that that city could be on the brink of a new stay-at-home order. And the new images tonight from hospitals across the South, hospitalizations at a record high in several states, including Mississippi. At the University of Mississippi Medical Center in Jackson, every bed is full. 29 patients are waiting. And tonight, the breaking headline on a vaccine trial and what they're seeing so far. And as we point out every night here, every life lost leads to a family broken. Tonight, a 13-year-old in Oklahoma dying just an hour after arriving at the hospital. And so we begin tonight with ABC's Matt Gutman leading us off. Tonight, doctors waging a war on the virus in room after room at the University of Mississippi Medical Center in Jackson, the state's only level one trauma hospital. We are full. The vacancy light is off. There have been patients in the last week that we have actually had to refuse and transfer. Tonight, 29 patients here just waiting for a bed. As soon as a bed comes open, there's another patient that's ready to fill it. When a bed empties, it's not just because we're able to send that person home or to get them out of the intensive care unit. It's because they might have uh, passed. For medical staff, no end in sight. When you're running full speed all the time uh, and the outcomes are not always what you want, uh, it's exhausting. And the CDC director saying today there will be no respite. I do think the fall and the winter of 2020 and 2021 are going to be the, probably one of the most difficult times that we've experienced in American public health. In California, indoor dining and bars shuttered. And for most of the nation's most populous state, indoor malls, gyms, and salons closed down too. Some businesses had just reopened before being told to shut back down. We're back to square one. We're left out here one minute you can open one minute you can't and then you can and now you can't again it's just like back and forth back and forth it's so hard los angeles now teetering on the edge of a stay at home order we are on the border of going to red it is up to all of us to make sure that we don't and tonight with temperatures feeling like triple digits across the south and west the battle against the virus growing more brutal more people are escaping the heat indoors where the risk of spread is higher. And some testing site hours now changed after painfully long waits. There is not a single appointment available in the entire city of L.A. at any one of these testing sites. And now California public health officials are admitting that the results are taking so long that it has made contact tracing impossible. Dallas, Texas taking over one testing site from the federal government after results we're taking eight to 10 days. That's way too long. People cannot not work for nearly two weeks waiting around uh, for answers. In Florida, frustration boiling over as the state hits its deadliest day. One resident challenging the governor at a press conference. And you are misleading the public. Over 4,000 people have died and you are blaming the protesters. You guys have no plan and you're doing nothing. Shame on you. You should decide, Ron DeSantis. Texas and Oklahoma today hitting a record number of cases. 13-year-old Anna Carter, who suffered from an autoimmune disease, dying just an hour after arriving at the hospital. Anna's mother saying, I want to honor her memory every day of my life. And late tonight, a sobering prediction about when Americans can stop worrying about getting infected with this virus. I hope that that time will be reasonably soon. And when I say soon, I say within the next year to year and a half. Next year to year and a half, that got our attention late today. I want to get right to Matt Gutman again tonight. And Matt, there is news this evening about uh, one of the first vaccines to move into human trials. And David, that company is Moderna out with the full results of its phase one trial. 45 people got the vaccine. All of them came back with some level of antibodies. But the question nobody has an answer to right now is how much immunity do those antibodies provide and for how long? Now, Moderna says it is on track to have the vaccine ready to go for the public by the first part of 2021. David. All right, but all of them with some level of antibodies, which was encouraging. All right, more to come on that. Matt, thank you.
Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.